to you by Polaris Off-Road Vehicles, the world leader in off-road innovation. And Five Gum Truth or Dare, are you game? It's time for quick takes. We've got a lot of great matchups that we didn't get into yet this weekend. Are we ready, fellas? Go. Arizona favored by two points over Chicago. I'm sticking with my boy Cuddy from Vanderbilt. Mm. Chicago in an upset, 27-24. I'm allergic to picking anything with yes, Chicago. Sure. I'm rolling with the Arizona Cardinals. Shocking. Pittsburgh is a six-point favorite as they take on San Fran. I say Eric Mangini's defense is in for a long day. This time, Pittsburgh reasserts itself. I'm going to say 30-20 to 20 home team. I'm picking the Steelers 37 to 21. Okay. Lions Vikings. I think the Vikings are still a little overrated, even at home. I say Detroit goes in there and prevails 27-23. I agree with you, but I think it's going to be more along the lines of 27-19. to I'm just not sold on the Vikings. Mm. Chargers, Bengals on the road. Well, this is a tough Chargers call. Chargers are on the road. Yeah. Phillip Rivers completed his last 20 passes last week, so I'm going to give him an edge even against a very good Bengals team. I'm going to go Phillip Rivers 30-28. I'm going to pick the Bengals 30-27. to It's the regular season. It's not a playoff game. So I don't mind picking it up. <laughs> and how could we forget ATL mm. and NYC? Skip, you know what? make the right you, choice. Your Giants surprised me. My the, the Giants. Night. Yeah, don't even both look of you. Them. Well, both of them. And I, I thought that they played surprisingly well at Jerry World. I think they'll surprise you again. I got them winning 24 to 23. My I'm man. Not Eagles fan. Not at all. I'm going to pick the Giants to win this game 27 23. Eagle. I'm with you. Please. Go Cowboys. Have a good Enjoy one. the games. Have a fantastic weekend. Blast. Uh, probably as much as any team in the league, but uh, I don't fear them. I can tell you that much. I'd much rather have a win against a first ballot Hall of Fame coach, you know, and, and Belichick than a, than a slappy coach. I mean, shoot, he's going to get what I got. Go, well, you got him. We got the Gronk. We're putting Kong on him. <laughs> I get it. They got all the trophies and they got the record says what it is. But, um, you know, I think we got the same record as we had in that stadium on Sunday. It's a brand new team, and, and we'll see what happens. Don't talk about it, be about it. On Sunday, we'll can see who can walk the walk, Belichick's Pats or Rex's Bills. Which team has the mental edge heading into Sunday, Mr. Bayless? I believe the New England Patriots won this week psychologically with one line from its head coach, from their head coach. Let's hear it. We've, we've done okay. Okay, I think we've done okay against Rex Ryan. That's what Bill Belichick said. And, and that closed the case and closed the week for me. I like Rex. I, I love him in his press conferences and his media sessions. Loved having him on a show when we visited up to the training camp. He's the biggest thing in Buffalo since Jim Kelly retired. That place is going crazy over Rex. And it's in large part because of his persona and his showmanship and his mind gamesmanship that he plays with Belichick and Brady. That excites that region. That, that place will be on fire this Sunday. But I thought that Rex got a little too full of himself this week. And I thought he, he talked and talked and talked to the point that, and I'm just guessing on this, that Tom Brady will no longer be distracted by the mind gamesmanship that he so brilliantly usually plays. I think Tom Brady will be infuriated by it. And I'm going to say this again. I believe you're going to see Tom Brady once again be on a, an 07 style mission in which he's going to take deflate gate out on opponent after opponent after opponent. And the one he would like to most take it out on just because they've had such a rivalry, and if any head coach has quote unquote owned Tom Brady, it is definitely Rex the Hex Ryan. Mm. But in this case, I think he's going to relish taking it out on Rex's new football team. I'm sure Tom Brady respects the heck out of this defense, and he will take great pleasure in picking it to pieces. And I believe he will. I pick 24 to 21, and I know that doesn't sound like great conviction. But I, I think you'll walk away from this game saying, you know what? They walked in with the psychological edge, and they proved once again they're just a little better than even these Buffalo Bills. And I've got the Bills as a wild card team. That's not going to change off this game. But I think edge going in, Brady Belichick. The killer bees advantage. Mm -hmm. 
Let's take a moment in all seriousness to dissect and highlight Rex Ryan. The last couple of years in New York, Rex Ryan's act came across as a bit buffoonish. I'm never calling him the man that because you certainly don't want to get caught up in characterizing individuals in a derogatory fashion. And I'm certainly not doing that with Rex Ryan. I'm talking about his act, yeah. not talking about him the man. But even though his act came across as a bit buffoonish, it was first validated by him talking the talk and delivering the Jets to two consecutive AFC championship games. Yeah. Now let's fast forward to Buffalo. He gets fired from the New York Jets job. He comes on the set with us at first take when we went to his camp. And even though I had no enjoyment whatsoever being up there in Foxborough with New England, I thoroughly enjoyed being in Rochester, New York. I, I, I love Foxborough. Well, I didn't like being up there because the, 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 the New England Patriots were busy practicing and they never came on the show until the That's last what five they minutes. Do. That's what they do. They're with, about I winning football be games, not being on the show. I didn't, I didn't want to be day. there, but I loved being in Buffalo and I loved being in Florham Park, New Jersey. I, I have no camp. problem with so, them they were very good to us. I, I, they, they were, the Jets and the Bills were first class mm. all the way. Let me just say that. And the better team is the New England Patriots. All right. That don't, mean they, that don't mean they ain't classless. Mm -hmm. Now let's get, let's get back now, to I, No one's ever accused them of being classless. I'm talking about towards, you know, towards their guests. That's all I'm saying. I mean it and that's that. Now mm. let me get back to the Bills. Rex Ryan is talking. But damn did they back it up opening day. They ran the uh, Indianapolis Colts out the stadium. Mm -hmm. And all I'm saying to you, Skip, is this. Let's give the man credit. Because you have called him maybe the most brilliant defensive mind in all of football. Not maybe. Okay, no, yeah. not maybe. Yeah. You're going up against a guy in Bill Belichick who at one time was considered a genius. But when he goes up against Rex, you say Rex doesn't give him anything because Rex doesn't have to take a back step towards him as it pertains to defense. All I'm saying is that Rex Ryan has earned the right from a defensive standpoint, particularly when you see the defensive personnel that he has at his disposal with this Bills team. Rex Ryan deserves the right for us to step back and say, let's see. Yeah. Because that's where I'm at. Because it's not just Rex Ryan talking with no personnel to work with. Now, when he told me the Jets were going to win, you know, because they were going to score points, and I'm looking at Geno Smith as your quarterback and Eric Decker as your number one wide receiving offensive option, I knew that was a joke. But when you tell me we've got some studs because you went out and got LaShawn McCoy because Sammy Watkins is your wide receiver, okay, because Tyrod Taylor is somebody that can make things happen. And then I look at this defense. With Hughes, with Kyle and Mario Williams and these boys, and Marcel Darius coming back. I'm like, whoa, and Gilmore and those guys. I'm like, okay, these brothers can get at you. And that's all I'm saying. Tom Brady may very well be great, but he might need to be great in order to get out of there alive on Sunday afternoon. Figuratively speaking. I, I think he'll be okay. I think he'll, All right, he'll I'm just survive. Saying, I'm just saying. I'm yeah. just saying. I ain't mean it literally. I'm just talking to the poor no, I got, I got I'm it. saying, I look, Manny, these guys are coming. And we know that Rex has brought the house when he hasn't had personnel like this. He had a strong secondary in New York. In Buffalo, he's got a front seven, man, that might be the best in the NFL. Okay. It's not a joke. All right. I, it's definitely not a joke. Now, back to Psychological Edge. Now we're being told that the Buffalo Bills official pro shop is selling little air pumps used to inflate or deflate footballs, selling them to the fans, maybe to take Stop to the it. stadium. That's what we're being told. Not, not a big deal, but I'm telling you it's going to be I will, a deal. I, I, will, I will admit to you. I will, on, I, no, 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 no. I will admit to you to do something like that to a guy like Tom Brady, hey. he'll pay attention to that. He I do he, believe he, he will take that to heart, no, 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 I, and I'm, he will I'm, take it out on the bills. I'm just saying he's the kind of he guy. Will. Listen, he, he Mike, is the kind Michael of guy. Michael Jordan not only taught us that, he taught me, look, little things that get said or implied to you yep. 
to the great one. I completely we agree. We always hear that. Yep. Tom Brady's great. Advantage right. Brady. We have to leave it there. LaShawn McCoy did participate in drills, so that should be a good sign that maybe he'll be going on Sunday. Let's hope so. Speaking of Sunday, we got another matchup of Heisman winning quarterbacks Marcus Mariota and the Titans face Johnny Manziel and the Browns. Eminem. Johnny is starting. We'll discuss that one next. Who has the upper hand? Don't miss that. Thing. I said Eminem. I'm surprised that Molly would pick up on that considering that Molly starts with the net. I'm just